Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton and her husband are rolling out a new public service announcement in support of transgender equality. It's a very meaningful issue for them and for their transgender son, Rodrigo. CBS4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room with their very personal story. Elliot? Well, Ruta Bay, Miami Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton has strong feelings about the issue of gender identity. That's because her son, Rodrigo, transitioned from a woman several years ago and has enjoyed strong family support that others don't get. When it comes to acceptance of a transgender family member, Miami Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton and her husband Dexter are part of a minority. They've accepted their son, Rodrigo, who was born Amanda, but made the decision while in college to begin living a life as a man. Hello everyone, my name is Rodrigo. I am an organizing and training fellow with the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force. The Leighton family was at Miami Dade College to roll out this new public service announcement about transgender equality and family acceptance. Family is about acceptance and love. By sharing our family's journey, we hope to get the message out there, especially for families that sometimes don't know where to turn. The congresswoman's husband is a former U.S. attorney and Vietnam veteran wounded in combat. Gender identity and changes in gender identity don't change the person in terms of their character or in terms of their uh, integrity, their work ethic, and in terms of their... Uh, it's estimated that 60 percent of transgender people are rejected by their families facing a difficult life transition alone without the support of loved ones. 60 percent, that's over half of people like me being thrown out of their homes for no other reason than who they are. That is a tragedy. That is nothing short of heartbreaking. It's a challenge this family has been able to face together. Ross Leighton says she stands with President Obama in his controversial decision to let students use school facilities that match the sex they identify with. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.